I'm Brian. And I'm Laura Kubish, and we're the owners of Hidden Springs Peony Farm. We have three girls, and we wanted to trade city life for slower, more family time. We were looking for some woods, we were looking for some tillable land and some fresh water on site. And when this property came up, we really realized that this checked all of our boxes. The property as a whole is 54 acres. It's about one and a half to two acres of peonies in a few different fields. And of that, there is more than 600 varieties. We see so much potential and opportunity in the property as well, not just the peonies, not just the garden center. Um, and so we were really excited about the additional potential that it has on top of what's already going on today. So We found in the agricultural world, a lot of people deal in corn and soybeans and no one deals in peonies. So it was really hard to convince people that the peonies are a sustainable business that uh, would make money for us and allow us to pay the, the, the big loan that we were applying for. So we started working with a different lender out of the cities and they literally ghosted us. I just said, hey, we're not getting anywhere with the current people that we've been talking to. And he said, hey, I'm gonna put you in good hands. I'm gonna send you down to Rochester and you're gonna talk to Abby Lee and Kelly Tollison and they're gonna help you get this thing figured out. I'm Abby Lee and I am a financial officer out of the Rochester, Minnesota office. When Brian first called me, uh, he had said that they were working with another bank um, and at that point they really felt like they weren't really getting anywhere. So I was really excited in that instance to kind of push comp here and uh, we really want to see our clients succeed. I think Comp here does an excellent job at, at trying to help young beginning farmers, beginning farmers, people that want to get into ag, um, but they had done a lot of their homework. They knew what they were walking into. They had a lot of their financial information together. They had done that work already. And a lot of times what I say is, you know, we're here to tell their story. So when they have all of that together already, it makes it that much easier for us to be invested right off the bat. So I think if we look at the environment of today, I think people want to know where their food comes from. Um, people want to be involved in their communities, so I think it's about not excluding any special area, but just making room for that, and I think Compere wants to be involved in that. We value that. We're excited about it. We've got the expertise, and um, it's just that it's a very unique and different operation. That's what really excited us, our whole team, Kelly and I, about this as well, is we like to, we like to be able to look into that kind of stuff and push the boundaries of what of what Compere is doing. I'm Kelly Tollison. I'm a senior credit officer in the Rochester, Minnesota office, working with Compere for just shy of 12 years. So when uh, Laura and Brian gave us a shout of their opportunity to purchase a peony farm, I'm not gonna lie, it had a little head scratcher at first. It's a unique deal. Um, not a lot of peony operations that we work with in Southeast Minnesota. So they brought us in um, and we were able to partner with Farm Service Agency and RFA. Um, we really had a, a joint meeting, actually, um, Brian and Laura, several Compeer team members in different departments and um, Farm Service Agency came in so that we could all sit down and hear Brian and Laura's story together so that we could all find the finish line together. The teamwork between Compeer, FSA and RFA, I think that was the biggest piece to all this, making this happen. Um, They're in constant communication with FSA, which is a huge part. And big kudos to Compeer because they actually listened to us. 